Bonjour, I'm Jean Lalonde, the developer of Quick Access Pop-Up. Welcome to this video where I will show you how you can pop up and show this menu to use it to make your work more efficient on your computer. The Quick Access Pop-Up is a menu. You can show it by clicking this icon, the QEP icon in your notification, notification zone. And then you see all the things that you put in your menu. You configure this menu to put the folders you use frequently, the application, the documents, uh, the websites, all sorts of favorites can be put there. And to open it, all you have to do is to click in this menu and it, it will launch for example here notepad you can open the menu here but more frequently you will open the menu by using a mouse button or a keyboard shortcut the default mouse button is the middle mouse button so all you have to do is to click on this window and then you can select that you want to open a folder for example and what you need to see is that when you open this menu this uh, yes this menu over an existing explorer window it will just change the folder inside this window. If I go to user profile here, it, ch it changed the content of this uh, Windows Explorer to the folder I select. So there are two ways to use it. You can use it anywhere else, and then it will open a new instance, a new window of Explorer. If you click inside, um, an existing window it will change same thing for the um, uh, dialog boxes for example if i use or i go to notepad here and if i if i select file open the dialog box will usually it will be in the last folders you were the last time you use the application but often it's not where you need to be so you have to choose your drive and click up and down in your structure to go to the folder where you want to open or to save a document but with quick access pop-up you can pop up your menu and select here the folder where you want to go so let's say i want to save this file in the my video folder you can just select it and go to this uh, to this folder instantly so it's from uh, the feedback i received from users just uh, the possibility to change folder quickly inside a dialog box is the biggest time saver using quick access pop-up so we've already seen three things that we can open the menu over any window, over an explorer window, or over a dialog box. So that's already part of the content I wanted to show you in this video, that we can open the main quick access pop-up menu over any window, or over an existing, or in the dialog box. You can do the same with the keyboard shortcut. So the default keyboard shortcut is Windows W. When you hit this key, it will open the menu, and there you can, using the arrows, uh, select that you want to open uh, an application, same thing to open a folder. And if you open the menu when the active window is a Windows Explorer, so this uh, menu will have the action of changing the folder again inside the existing window. Same idea as when you do it with uh, the mouse. Same thing for dialog box, no need to show it to you, you can believe me. So we've seen four, five and six now. We can use a short keyboard shortcut anywhere inside an Active Explorer window or over a dialog box. Now, before going, before going further with other ways you can show this menu, let's see that you can configure Quick Access Pop-Up to open um, uh, the, the, the menu using any mouse button or any keyboard shortcut. To do that, you open in your menu, you open the settings window. The settings window is where you manage the content of your folder. So there's our, there are other videos where I can show you how to use it. But for now, we will go in the options window under the hotkeys tab. And here you see that we can change the quick access pop-up mouse button or keyboard shortcut. If you want to change the mouse button, we click here or in change. And in this dialog box, we can select in this drop down list, we can select any button on your mouse. Of course, some mouse will not have these special buttons, but many have, have now. So these special buttons are on the left side of your uh, mouse. You can click the middle mouse button that's there by default. You could also just roll up or roll down the wheel on your, um, 
on your mouse. It's not very useful uh, because you want to use it for something else than opening your menu. But you can also push this wheel on the left side or on the right side. And when you do that, it, normally it would scroll right or scroll left. But if you don't need to scroll left or right often, you could prefer to have this button to be used to open this menu. So I'll do it for the example here. I select wheel right. OK, save. And now when I push my button on the right side, it opens the menu. Same thing as if I would have done the middle mouse uh, click. So I'll return just to make it back to the default value. Uh, you could also use, um, I will just save it here, use this dialog box here to select what keyboard shortcut you want to use. So by default, it's Windows W. You could say that you prefer it to be uh, Shift, Control, Z, for example. You press Z here and uh, it would be the new trigger for your menu. You could, uh, if you prefer uh, to use um, not only, not any shift key, but only the right or the left shift key to, as a trigger, you can also be uh, more selective if, if you prefer. So I'll save these, uh, this, I'm back to the default setting here middle mouse and Windows W. So we've seen that you can change the triggers for the quick access pop-up menu in the options. And other options that you can enable when you open the menu, if you are, uh, if you prefer generally to use the keyboard to open the menu, so you can go in the settings, options, under the menu tab here, there's an option called display numeric menu shortcuts. When you do it, and I'll use the keyboard shortcut, Windows W. When you do it, it will add a number at the beginning of each item in your menu that you can hit to open the menu. So now if I want to open Notepad, I can click 4 and it will open Notepad. Same thing, Windows W and 2, it will open my uh, Windows folder. So for keyboard users, that's very efficient to use your um, uh, your menu that way so that's done automatically what you can also do under the option the options here when you say that you want it to be with new display numeric menu shortcut you could say that the menu would start at one instead of zero by default the menu starts at zero but some user prefer it if it starts at one so i will save it and you'll see now that the menu start at one and the zero happens after the nine year so it's a matter of preference on how you want to use it so i'll just return again to the default save close so we've seen that we can use numeric shortcut last thing i want to show you under the options is the ability to disable the the qap mouse button in some application for example, if you want to use the mouse button, the middle, middle mouse button, um, but if you are in Chrome, let's say, for example, I will just put something here. So we can use the, the scroll button here, the, the wheel to scroll. But in Chrome, there is also an option where you could use the middle mouse button to, to go up and down. So, But it's not working now because when I hit the middle mouse button, it opens the quick access pop-up menu. So what I can do here is go into the options. Under the more tab, there's an exclusion list that you can manage. And here I'll do it quickly for now, but there are various possibilities here. But I will just enter the chrome.exe, the name of the application Chrome. Say OK, save and close. And now when I am in Chrome, the button will not open the quick access pop-up menu. It will open the regular uh, feature that Chrome has uh, planned for the middle mouse button. So it all depends on you uh, if you want to exclude uh, some applications or if you just prefer to change the button to be something else. So it uh, is for you. So for now it doesn't work here, but if I go under any other window, the middle mouse button will work to open my quick access pop-up menu. Again, I will return just to remove this example here. So we've seen there's a lot of things you can configure in quick access pop-up. So we've seen those that uh, are about the use of the mouse button or the, or the keyboard shortcut. Another thing that you can also um, 
Another way you can also use to open the menu is to use the context menu. So for example, if I'm going to the desktop of my computer and if I right click on the desktop, so it opens the Windows context menu. So it's something that is available always. It's not related specifically to quick access pop-up, but when you install quick access pop-up, it will add a few options in this menu. One of these being to show the quick access pop-up menu. So if you would like, you could also open the quick access pop-up menu using this button here and then open the, the window that you would like to open. The other place where you can open the quick access pop-up menu is when you are inside, I will just open here this example here, when you are inside the Windows Explorer window, if you uh, right click over any blank space in this window, it will also allow you to show the quick access pop-up menu from there. So in, because it is the active window, it will change inside this window. So again, it's a matter of preference. There's a lot more to see in the context menu because you can add, use it to add folders, to add the current folder to your uh, pop-up menu, but that's not the topic of this video, <laughs> but uh, it's also very useful. So we've seen these two options, number seven and eight. Um, also, um, you can all oh, click the mouse or the, um, the keyboard shortcut to open the whole menu. But what you can also do is choose a shortcut that will open only a section, a subsection of your menu. For example, if I there's a, here a, sub -check, a, a sub menu called My Special Folders that I associated previously with the wheel left uh, shortcut. This menu here is um, giving me access to some of the most useful uh, Windows special folders, for example, my PC network, the recycle bin. There are about 50 items that you can add in this menu if, you, if there are other special folders that you want to use. But I created a shortcut here, wheel left, and what it does when I hit the wheel left button, it opens only this section of the menu. So it can be very useful. You can make different shortcuts to open different parts of your menu and be already in the section that you need to open. So how you can you change it? So I will just return to my settings and go under the My Special Folders uh, menu. And when I click Edit, it, allow me, it allows me here under the menu options to select a shortcut, but just for this menu. So actually it's wheel left, but I could change it and say I prefer to use, for example, Alt space. Uh, space, you click here to enable the space and I say, okay, okay, save and close. And from now on, if I do Alt space, it opens this uh, specific menu. Short shortcuts like what we've just seen can be assigned to any uh, sub menu but also any item in your folder so for example shift control s is opening the settings any item in your menu can be assigned to a shortcut but one uh, a way of using it is to open specific sub menus so we're almost over here the last uh, part i want to show you is that you can also use a um, special menu that is called in quick access pop-up the alternative menu you can use it with the mouse where, or with the keyboard so let's see it with the mouse what you have to do by default it to, is to uh, hit the shift key or to hold the shift key while you press the middle mouse button instead of opening immediately the full menu it will open a kind of preliminary pre preliminary menu where you can say what you want to do with the item that will be selected in the menu for example if you would like to run an application as administrator i click run as administrator and now i choose in my menu the application notepad it will ask me for the the password administrator or the to raise the level of this pc to uh, this um, to the admin level. I won't do it because I'm recording and I'm not sure it will work. I'll just show you another option here. So shift middle mouse. If I say edit a favorite and I select the favorite uh, QAP demo, it will immediately open the edit dialog box where I can change the name of this um, 
the, the, the name or the properties of this uh, favorite folder in my menu. So that's the shift uh, middle mouse or it can also be shift Windows W. So the same hotkey to open the regular menu with the keyboard, but uh, then it will open here a preliminary, preliminary menu. And if I say I want to open the current, I want to open a folder in a new window, I choose my folder and it will be open in a new window. Even if I am already inside an Explorer window, it will open this folder in a new instance of uh, Windows Explorer. So that's for the alternative menu. And lastly, it's not specifically related to alternative menu, but to the regular or any um, menu. In here, it's more for advanced users, but what you can also do if you want to trigger the menu to open it from a batch file or from a command that you could insert in another application or any, any another script, what you can also do is to make a command that is shown here. So it, this is a batch file that I will open. So in this batch file, there's a program that comes with quick access pop-up that is called QAP Messenger. This program is mostly for use in the context menu. That's the way the context menu can pass the command to quick access pop-up to show its menu or to add folders or any kind of things. But you can also use it in a bash if you wish. So you enter this program. Don't forget to put the, uh, the quotes here. And after that, you put the command show menu launch. And this command, what it will do when you run this batch, it will show the menu. And then you can select again the application or any content of your menu that you would like to use so this uh, it's more for advanced users that want to automate something else in another application and want to open the menu with in this process so that's the way you can do it so i hope you um, you learned uh, on different ways to use the quick access pop-up menu i thank you for your attention and of course if you want to discover more about quick access pop-up do not hesitate to go to the quick access pop-up website there's a knowledge base knowledge base section where you find a lot of information on how to use quick access pop-up and there is this video section where you will find this video and many others also so thank you very much and see you on quickaccesspopup.com.